News faithful followers, welcome to another edition of the Angry Brothers Omaha Shakarama and Movie Night Live from the Monastery of Mayhem. I'm Brother Jack Angry and this drunken wreck of a person, you know, this piece of human billish schmatza is Brother James. And what are you drinking? Uh, it's kinky. It's, no, seriously, folks, it's kinky. Let me see that. Kinky blue. Kinky cocktail blue. You know, it's like, isn't that a bit of a girly drink there, James? Yeah, it happened to be the first thing I grabbed in the fridge on the way over here. What are you doing with girly drinks in the refrigerator? You, as far as I know, you haven't had anybody over at the... You haven't had anybody over. You certainly haven't had any female guests. I haven't seen any women's underwear hanging around. Oh, wait, those are yours. Yeah, you seem to want to try them on, awful quite a bit. Well, I'm sorry. It's, Herb. Yeah, well, it's like, sorry, it's like a pair of lace drawers with skids in them. That can only be you. Mm, yeah. Well, nothing but love for you, brother. Nothing but love. Hey, what can I tell you? Looking at the empties is no fun. Well, this is true, and it's been a long, dry spell here at the monastery, and Inferna, Torrid, uh, Gulia, Ver Veronese. <laughs> Yes, girls, we, we really need you. Um, we're hoping to be adding some new girls yeah, to the... Yeah, uh, one of you could drag your asses over here to do this shit. Okay, that's enough of that. Let's not be hostile. Um, they've, got li they've got lives, they've got other things to do. I understand. Okay, all right, you can put your hostility away, you know? Oh, no. This, no, this no, is no. counterproductive. This isn't getting anything done. We've got a show to do. I love my girls. That's why I want them here. I love my girls. My bitches. My bitches. Love them, miss them. Don't, don't go any further. All right. <laughs> Gotta get new ones. We're not getting any new. We're not getting any new girls. We're going to be. Come on, Omaha. We're going to be enhancing the ones that are here. We're going to enhance the Come on, uh, Omaha. the cast. This is an open casting call. You want to get on public access TV and take your clothes off? Hey, hey, hey. You know, no, no clothes are coming. No clothes are coming off here. All right? Are you trying to get me thrown in jail? Are you trying to get me clipped? <laughs> yeah, are you trying to get me whacked or what? The only numbers I'm going to have to worry about are the ones that are on my chest. All right? All right. And that orange jumpsuit I'm going to be wearing. Well, no, there, there will be no taking of clothes off. You know, the costumes we give you might be a little skimpy, but they are within the letter of the law. Well, to put on those costumes, they have to take off clothes, yes? Well, uh, don't, ar don't argue. Don't argue semantics with me, all right? You're splitting hairs, okay? Don't bore me with you have many of those. No, it's like, not at my age, no. It's like, what yeah, hairs I do? 2,000? Methuselah? <laughs> no, I don't think I'm quite that old. My social security number is not one. I was behind that dude driving in here today. Your social security number is a fraction, dude. You're like four fifths. My driver's license is written in hieroglyphics on papyrus. Yes, it's like you don't get many of those, you know. Hard to whip out a clay tablet from your wallet. <laughs> you got to carry that stone tablet in your back pocket. <laughs> Ruins the cut of your pants, let me tell you. But anyway, um, tonight's movie is another really great, really bad film. I mean, this film is so bad, um, you know, I needed a tetanus shot when I got done watching this, you know, because I was about ready to start hemorrhaging from my eyes and every other orifice in my body, you know, this movie was so bad. This was Ebola on film, as it were, but... Okay, okay, we know, we get it. It stinks on wheels, but move right. along. I, I'm being dramatic, you know. No, it's... you're boring. Come on. Boring? People pay good money to be entertained by me. I'll have no, you know. they don't. It's public access. Yes, but we also are also on seven public access nations across the country, uh, four Roku channels, five online networks, and we're seen by literally tens of people. Tens of millions of people. Ten. You know. One zero. One zero. That's it. All right, that's a, that's enough out of you. I don't need your defeatist attitude. You know, I can repl I can replace you with a trained chimp. You know, it's not called the Angry Brother and a Chimp. It's called the Angry Brother. Well, I can change that title. Don't forget, I write this crap. Okay, you and, can write. Yeah, I can write. Believe it. Wow, believe it or not, 
You know, I can even I can even write and I, I even look at the pictures and everything. You know, I ain't got my special helmet. You know, to infinity and beyond. Bitter, bitter man. You and Herb Jefferson can go hang out. Yeah, me and Herb, yeah, me and Herb Jefferson do hang out a lot. Bitter. And if you bitter. get that reference, you're old. That's <laughs> Mark Wells. That one's for you, baby. But anyway, um, where the fuck was I? Oh yeah, the uh, Prisoners of the Lost Universe. This movie stars Richard Hatch and Kay Lenz. Kay Lenz, who if you may not know, was married to David Cassidy of the Partridge family through most of the 80s and into the 90s and when they subsequently divorced. And I have no clue as to what the hell she's doing now. Who cares? She's hot. Yeah, she was hot, you know. Oh, no, then no, she got that whole cougar thing going. Again with the cougar, again with the cougar remarks, you know. You're gonna have, I'm gonna have a bunch of cougars coming down here and kick me in the ass with their high heeled shoes. Wait a minute, I might actually like I that. Pay good money for that. I guy. pay good. Yeah, wait a minute, they pay good money for that on Craigslist. Yeah, no kidding. You might pay good money for that action in certain parts of town. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You gotta get that grill fixed, man. You oh, you look like you ought to be hanging out in Council Bluffs. You look like the Council Bluffs Miss Dental Hygiene. Mm -hmm. Like the mayor? Yeah, it's like yeah, the mayor of Council Bluffs, you know. <laughs> gotta get new teeth. We do have a GoFundMe campaign going for yeah, this. For God's sake, for, can contribute yeah, to that. Yeah, for this, you know, there, there is a link to it at the end of the show. Will somebody contribute something to this toothless bitch? I mean, we, we, we've only raised about a hundred, two hundred dollars. I mean, that isn't even enough to get him into the dentist office. That doesn't even cover the deposit. That's gonna buy me one tooth, people. One tooth. Come on. You don't want to see me with just one tooth hanging out of my grill. Unless face. it's about that wide. Okay, now that we've made fun of my busted up grill. Yes, and we will again, believe me. The f movie, The Lost, Prisoners of the Lost Universe, uh, Richard Hatch plays a down on his down and out gardener who meets Kay Lenz after he, she almost runs his car off the road. Uh, she is a reporter for a science and technical journal. She is on her way to interview a scientist who has discovered a wormhole to another dimension and a machine that can actually take people back and forth between the two. Well, she goes to interview this science uh, scientist, Richard Hatch, after meeting with her, thinking she might be a good prospect for a relationship. We all know what that means. Yeah, we all know what that means. Well, some of us less than others, you know. You... Hey, 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 you're messing up the back. you're messing up the wall here you know what happened we can't get a real background anyway shut up right <laughs> shut remember shut up shut it bitch that's hashtag shut it bitch <laughs> you are like syphilis to everything I do pinky <laughs> can you try not to fuck this <laughs> yeah yeah can you try not to fuck this up I normally don't believe in homicide but I would go back to the moment of your conception David, twins. Yeah, I know. You it's, know what that means? Uh, yeah, I would. That means at one point in the moment of our conception, we were the same person, so you would, in essence, be committing retroactive suicide. I would be. Wrap your minds <laughs> around that. People. I'd be performing a retroactive abortion on myself. Ooh, how does that work? Well, that can't be good. See, we do get highbrow around here every now and again. Uh, and remember, it is. It is not an alternate timeline, it's a paradox. Always remember that, or else we'll get Glinsky. I'll explain that to you later. Yeah. Oh, and also people that light at the end of the tunnel is an oncoming it's train. It's a train, it's a train. <laughs> and remember, it's a trap. Thank you, Admiral Ackbar. Yeah, just wanted to throw that out there, you know, just so we know, anyway. Um, moving toward the end. Yes, all right. The, well, the, the two, um, Kay Lenz, Richard Hatch, and the scientist are, because of a malfunction of this machine, are thrown through a wormhole into another dimension where it is a harsh desert world uh, filled with swords, sorcery, slave girls, stone rock creatures, and other various, you know, type Robert Howard-esque things. Um, K. 
Kaylens is subsequently ca captured by some warlord and thrown into a harem, and you know, and about that point, that's where the movie got interesting. So we're going to uh, let you get on with the movie, Prisoners of the Lost Universe, here on the Angry Brothers Omaha Shakurama. Enjoy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Will you? What are you doing now? Oh, my PO is trying to get a hold of me. Well, it's like. You can take that call when we're done filming. Oh no! <laughs> you don't make uh, you don't make Big Larry wait. No, 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 no. What is he gonna do? Is he gonna come and slap an ankle bracelet on you right here? He didn't even have to show up. He'll just shoot it into the window. I'm not even touching that remark. It's like, you know, are you gonna start singing that song, "My Prison Bitch, My Prison Bitch"? No. no. No, I don't want to have to spend the next three to five pressed against the wall, moving like this. You're gonna super glue. You're gonna super glue yourself to the ceiling, aren't you? So they can't get you, <laughs> brother. You have to learn how to sleep. I'm like brother buddy. You learn how to sleep in a space about that big, one way in, one way out, so you can watch the door. All right. Well, anyway. We're going to get back to the movie, The Prisoners of the Lost Universe, here on the Angry Brothers Omaha Shakarama. Enjoy. Yeah. Come on back anyway. Catapulted into the distant future by a maverick scientist, Carrie Madison and Dan Roper find themselves prisoners of the lost universe. <laughs> Gently. Let her go, you son of a bitch, or I'll kill you. Captured and threatened by the evil warlord, Cleo, and terrified by strange beings and nightmare creatures, they spectacularly fight their way through this hostile world. Can they hope? to overcome the impossible obstacles and win the battle to return to the 20th century. Oh, God. Oh. Ah. Ah. oh shit! They meet challenge after challenge and face all the dangers and excitements to escape this frightening world. Prisoners of the Lost Universe, starring John Saxon, Richard Hatch, and Kay Len. Prisoners of the Lost Universe, a new, exciting, action-packed, fast-moving film. Prisoners of the Lost Universe. Well, greetings, faithful followers. Welcome back to the Ang... What? What are you doing? Oh, I'm sorry. I was channeling Stevie Wonder for a minute. What are you doing? Your Ray Charles impersonation? I mean, that's, that's all I ever see is you wearing them sunglasses. What is that? The, uh, you know, the I, you know, it's the I'm the semi-divine detachment? Or is that the, oh my God, I'm going blind kind of thing? No, no, no. That's just the, I don't really give a shit anymore. Thing. You know, it's like you're, you're, you're hiding behind those shades to avoid reality, aren't you? Yes. Well, now that we've got that established, uh, uh, I can deal with that. I can get behind that. How about you? But anyway, back to the movie, That's Prisoners good. of the Lost Universe, here on the Angry Brothers Omaha Shakurama. Um, you've seen the part where they landed on the uh, strange alien world. I don't even know what the hell it's called. Richard Hatch has the fight with the rock creature. Uh, he is captured by the evil warlord, whose name I really can't remember. All I can really remember about this sequence in the movie is the girl, his, you know, number one, his number one hoochie or his bottom bitch or whatever you want to call her was reasonably hot. You know, looked good in the little slave girl outfit, you know. And then they throw Kay Lenz in and they have her in the similar slave girl outfit and I'm thinking, yeah! You know, it's like, okay, this movie was worth $1.99 I rented it for. And you know what I'm thinking when I saw that? I can't afford that. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you, 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 you realized what Out of Your League looked like. Mm, wow. Yes, well, well, at least you learned, you know. It's like you, don't, you didn't go through life deluding yourself like some people. 
you know, a certain red-headed lab coat wearing hack that we could, you know, who actually thinks he has talent. You know, a certain coattail rider. You mean the one who actually thinks he has a show and a following? Yeah, him. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. I mean, and his henchmen, you know, the fraction. You know, you know bitter, how the bitter, bitter man. Well, you know how the in the comic books, the supervillains henchmen usually have numbers like one, two, three. You know, he would have a fraction like six, three sixths or something like that. You know, he, he was the starter kit. Some assembly required. Yeah, maybe next time you'll get a whole one, dude, huh? Uh, it's like, yeah, they cost more, you know. It's like, if you put them together yourself, you know. I realize you're on a budget. Come on, if you're going to hench, get a whole one at least. Hench for yourself. <laughs> Henchmen, gotta love them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But anyway, we're on a budget here. We can't afford henchmen. No, we don't have to hire our henchmen. We have enough wanting to come work for us. And we don't have to pay them anything. Anyway, um, Prisoners of the Lost Universe. Yes, the uh, film goes on. Kaylens is in the uh, evil warlord's harem. She, he, she enlists the other slave girls to attempt a revolt and break out, breaking Richard Hatch out of prison. And, you know, they attend, then they go on to lead a revolt. And overthrowing the evil warlord, try to get back to uh, our dimension, but it really doesn't look good at that point in the movie. Anything you want to say? Yeah, was this pre or post Galactic? This was, um, this was done, excuse me, this was done in 1980, so it was actually post Galactica. Mm. At um, least he had, well, or residual checks. Yes, I mean, this was at a time Richard, Richard Hatch was reasonably flush with cash, and uh, you, you will know that um, later he did go on to fund the uh, indie film project Galactica. The Second Coming? The Second Coming, Battlestar Galactica, The Second Coming, yes. Um, we were told that uh, he pretty much maxed out his, his savings, drained his bank accounts, and maxed out all of his credit cards to produce that small trailer. Was it a trailer? Yeah, it was a 10-minute uh, fan film or trailer type deal. You know, I mean, which it did, had a lot of critical acclaim. I mean, it was very much true to the Galactica mythos. Um, it's just that he couldn't find a studio to bite. Well, we're hard. Now, from what I understand, the film is out there still being shopped around, you know. Hopefully, somebody will uh, will pick it up here. Well, at least it'll be better than that sci-fi travesty. Yeah, well, no, that one actually was, it had its good points. I mean, I mean, we're all big, we're all fans of the original Cylons, you know, the big silver toasters, you gotta love them, you know. You're yeah. such a fanboy. Yes. It's just sad. I'm a nerd. It's brother Jack is a brother Jack is a nerd. What can yeah, I say? That's why brother Jack don't have a girlfriend. No, no. brother Jack wants to go on enjoying life. No, no, no. Brother Jack, uh, he just gets to the point where he's almost ready to close the deal, and then he drops a fucking colonial fleet rep one. It's like, damn it! You just blew it. You were so close. That close. That close. Anyway. You know, okay, so what? I have a colonial warrior's outfit that I like to put on occasionally. Yeah, and he goose steps around the monastery with it too, folks. Now you know why Brother James drinks. Help me. Yes, well, we're going to get back to the movie here on the Angry Brothers Omaha Shakarama. Prisoners of the Lost Universe starring Kay Lenz and Richard Hatch here on the Angry Brothers Omaha Shakarama. Enjoy. After being accidentally transported into a parallel dimension, Dan and Carrie find it's much like home, but inhabited by strange creatures. What a back They must escape their captors and fight their way back to the transporter to try and get home.
Jacob's Faithful followers, welcome back. Uh, this, I'm Brother Jack Angry, this is Brother James, and this is the Angry Brothers Omaha Shakarama. And what did you think of the conclu what did you think of the conclusion of tonight's movie, Prisoners of the Lost Universe, starring Richard Hatch and Kay Lenz? Wasn't that movie scary? Yeah, let me put it to you this way. A dead raccoon floating in a sea of petroleum wouldn't have stunk quite so bad as the film we were just forced to sit through. Oh, was it has a certain it stunk on ice. <laughs> it has a certain charm to it. No, K Lens has a certain charm. Richard Hatch running around waving his sword to and fro. No. I mean, I have to do a lot. I mean I have to eat a lot because I'm either here or I'm in county. Okay? I don't want to be in county. I really don't want to be here either. But... Well, it's like... The food is marginally better here. Marginally. That's only because we order takeout a lot. Uh-huh, because we have that freaking nature Gulia in the kitchen. Oh, wait a minute, I forgot. She's like the rest of them broads around here. We haven't seen her for weeks and weeks and weeks. Well, the years. last time she cooked anything for us, it was called it was called uh, Sewer Rat Surprise. Guess what the surprise was? You ate it. <laughs> yeah, and you lived. <laughs> you ate it and lived. That's the surprise. Mm -hmm. No, seriously, people, man. I'm, uh, Brother James has been reevaluating his life lately, and I don't know. I mean, Look at me, man. I work out. I tan. I'm, I'm, I got potential. And I'm sitting here with this? I mean, when the chicks were here, okay, fine. At least that made it interesting. But this is it, man. I got nothing other than this. You should be so. You should. See? You're messing up the wall. You're messing up the wall. You know, it's I got like, nothing. I got nothing, man. I need to be somewhere. I need to be doing something. Doing some business. Earning some coin. So if there are any hot ladies out there that want to be on TV, give Brother James a call. You can write us care of the show, the Angry Bros at gmail.com. And that's T-H-E-A-N-G-R-Y-B-R-O-S all lowercase at gmail.com it's it's at the end of the show too um you know don't worry girls inferna torrid uh everyone else you will always have places here we just want to you just them. don't show up for them all right that's uh, i told you they've got things to do they've got other they've got lives they've got relationships you know they're fully functional individuals. We're not. You no, forget that. We're not. You know better. No, well, I'm. You're lying to yourself again. There you go, confusing real life with porn. All right, Dean. But anyway, um, so and barely did Dean reply, "Son of a bitch." And thus did Bobby say unto them, "Balls." Oh, for God's sakes, please, someone help me. All right, you want to quit whining? Jeez. You want to quit whining about everything? You never really had it so good, so shut up, all right? Anyway, um, Prisoners of the Lost Universe, eh, we'll give it like, we'll give it a one and a half. I you're mean, looking at a Prisoner of the Lost Universe. <laughs> all right, do you, would you mind? I mean, you're killing, you're killing my vibe here, okay? You buzzkill, Captain Buzzkill, you know, you and your... You know, it's like, what is it, you know? It's like somewhere there's a pimp wandering around with no jewelry, no jewelry. My jewelry, where my jewelry? I'm blind, I'm blind, I'm blind, I'm blind. I'm blind. <laughs> yeah. Bruce, keep fucking with me. I'm gonna whip out my boomstick. That what you call it? Yeah, it's like, <laughs> yeah, whatever. Nobody wants to, <laughs> whatever you primate. <laughs> You primitive screwhead. Nobody wants to see that, believe me. It's like... That's right. We get letters telling people, James not to take his boomstick out. Last time you took your boomstick out, I had to bail your butt out of jail. Yeah, I did time for that one. Uh, yeah, it's like... You took your boomstick out on that bus full of old ladies, and you was lucky to get off the bus alive. 
Hey, the ladies love Brother Jay. <laughs> Excuse me, but mm, I threw up in my mouth a little bit. Anyway, will you put that damn, I, put that damn phone away. We're trying to do a show here. I'm dying. <laughs> Help me. What are you dialing your counselor? <laughs> no, my agent. <laughs> Yeah, what are you, your sponsor with AA? And by the way, that stands for Assholes Anonymous. Hey, you got drummed out at alcohol. The program only works when you work the program. <laughs> you got drummed out at Alcoholics Anonymous. You had to get picked up by Assholes Anonymous. All right? Yeah, matter of fact, they uh, told me to tell you they miss you at the meetings. <clears throat> but anyway, all right, well, next week, we're gonna have a really, really great movie. I mean, this is one of the, this one's a classic. Uh, the Omega Man, starring Charlton Heston, and uh, Clarence Williams. And Anthony Zerbe. And Anthony Zerbe as Malachi, or Matthias. Yeah, and then some black chick, I don't know who she was. Yeah, it's like, anyway. and a host of zombies.